How is it going, YouTube? V10 Vernon here, and welcome back to an F1 video. Yep, you heard it right. You've seen the title and the thumbnail. It's an F1 video on the channel, and it's to show you the custom setup for each individual track, and it will be in order as the tracks come along, and I will show you how to do it. If you happen to be brand new, and if you haven't already, check your subscribed. Help us get to a 1,000 subscribers. And if you like the sound of potentially winning a gifted sub to the live stream, when we get to a 1,000 subs, we're going to start going live on Twitch regularly. And we will do some gifted subs to show our appreciation. So thank you for being here, choosing to click on it. Bring the hype. Smash the like as well. Now, in the video, I'm going to show you the best custom setup for each individual track based on the best laps that have been done on time trials. So whoever's number one lap, I have gone into their each individual custom setup and done a video in order to show you how to get it. Me, myself, I am a novice. I am very, very average, even below average at this game. And I'm predominantly a FIFA content creator. But a lot of you F1 boffins who are watching this will know a lot of us FIFA people have jumped over on the bandwagon and started doing videos and doing content and streams. When I play on streams with the likes of Baton87 and some, some subscribers, I don't know what's the best setup for each individual track because it does vary. So that's why I've created the video. If you need more inside F1 knowledge, maybe go to an F1 YouTube or content creator or streamer. I'm not claiming to be one. I'm just doing a video that helped me with the setup and I'm showing you how to do the best custom tactics. So hopefully it does help you. We will go into it now. I will show you how to get to the screen to look at your car setup because I didn't even know how to do that before this video. And then I'll show you the setup for each individual track and I will I will try and time stamp it so you can go along just in case you've already done your custom setup for Australia, Britain, and you can just time stamp it and go through that way. I will see you there. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and hopefully it helps you out. So into the F1 2020 and you go across to time trial, you press R1 or whatever console you're on or PC, you can choose any car and we'll start off with Australia, then go Bahrain and so on and so on. This screen will load up. Now I've edited it down so it'll skip through very quickly. It'll normally take a few seconds longer. On this part, you then press square or X, whatever it is on your console and then R1, R1, it's twice or RB. Now you will see this load up. And on your PlayStation pad, I don't know what it'll be for the uh, Xbox, you press that and it will come up with the likes of aerodynamics, transmission and stuff. Which doesn't mean a lot to me, but this is the custom setup for people who've got the fastest laps. So aerodynamics is 4 and 8 for rear wing air, air, aero. The next one, move it all the way across to the left to 50% and 50%. Some of these I'll leave on the screen longer. The next front camber is all the way up to 2.50. Rear camber 1, uh, you've got front toe 0.5. Then we've got the front suspension, rear suspension, front anti-roll bar, and rear anti-roll bar, front ride height, and rear ride height. If you need to pause the video at any point, make sure you do, and you can just go from there. Then we've got brake pressure, front brakes, front right tyre pressure, front left tyre pressure, rear right and um, rear left. And that's the PSIs and stuff for those. So if you do need to pause it, it will go quite quickly. And then how you save it, you press triangle or Y, whatever. Go down, rename it. So obviously this is Australia, so we will call it that. So whenever we get put on the Australian track, we can actually load it up by pressing triangle and it'll say save or load setup. The next one is Bahrain and it's three and seven. Then we move all the way to the left for the adjustments on throttle and off throttle is 50% and 50%. We've got front camber, rear camber, so 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. Front suspensions one, five, six, eight, two and four. So that's what it is for the front anti-roll bar, rear anti-roll bar, front ride height and rear ride height. The brake pressure is 100% and the front brake bias is 52. This next one is for tyres and we've got front right, front left, a rear right and left and it's 22.6, 22.6, 20.3 and 20.3. And again, you press triangle to save it and rename it. Just so you know which one on each track, what it's for. And this should help you with lap time. So try five laps on your normal setup, five laps on this setup, and you should see the difference. We've got five and seven on aerodynamics. Transmission is 70% and 65%. It will, I do apologize, I know I've said it will go quick, but you can always pause it. We've got suspension geometry, which is 2.50, 1.0, 0 0.05, and 0 0.20. Some of them are similar. Then we've got front suspension. We've got two, five, four, ten, two and four always pause the video if i've gone too quickly i can't stress that enough because you won't be able to keep up brake pressure is 100 and front brakes is 50 percent, and that is on brakes 
and we will move over to tires and tires is 21 psi 21 you can move it all the way to the left and then 20.3 and 20.3 for rear right and rear left and that is us for what setup was that was for vietnam so then we press triangle we save it in there and again that will just be saved in your setups for each individual race and hopefully this helps you get better times it's helped me already and i am genuinely out of 10 10 being good one being awful i'm a four and it's helped me so vietnam and hanoi that is the custom setup for that now on china we've got four on aerodynamics and f and six on the rear wing transmission is 50 and 50 again move the uh, button all the way to the left and that'll just get it down to the bottom suspension geometry 2.50 1 0 0.05 0 0.0 0 0.20 then we've got 3, 5, 10, 10, 2, and 3. And that is on suspension. So, yeah, that is how you do suspension. Sometimes I will let it go out a bit slower. Uh, brakes is 100% and front brakes is 52. Next, the PSI on the tyres is all the way down on each of them. All the way to the left on every section for that. For the front left, front right. But rear right and rear left. And again, we save that with the name. And that will be the rear cairn theme in the video. It's just saving it to the right one. Now we are on Netherlands. And aerodynamics is 5 and 8. So you'll have caught on by now when I'm reading numbers out. That's what it's for. I won't read the differential adjustment throttle. That's 50% and 50%. Suspension geometry is again 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. They seem to be the same on a lot. And the suspension on this is 1, 3, 5, 9, 3 and 5. So that is for Netherlands on suspension. We will go over to the brakes. And the brakes are on 88% and 54%. Again, I'm not very technical. I don't know exactly what this is doing. It's just the best times posted. And we've got tyres 22.6, 22.6, 19.9 and 19.9. And that is a completed setup for Netherlands. And we will go again and save it in there and tightly. Netherlands. And this should all be in order on the time trials. That's how you have to do these setups. We are on Spain and it's 2 and 10 for the uh, front and rear wing. Then transmission is 55% and 60% for off the throttle. We've got suspension geometry again. It looks the same. A lot of these 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. Suspension is 1, 10, 11, 9, 1 and 2. So that is that section covered. And each individual track you will see. Brakes and brake pressure is 100% and 50%. You just move them all the way to the right. And with this one, tyres moved it all the way to the left for 21 PSI, 21. And the lowest one there, just move them all the way to the left. They're all the way down. And that is Spain completed. And we will move on to the next one, which is Monaco. Which, <laughs> If you haven't played Monaco or you have, you will know. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Barely anyone finishes these races online. We've got 10 and 11 for aerodynamics. Transmission is 50 and 60% for on and off the throttle. Suspension geometry is the same virtually in every one. 2.50, uh, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. Suspension, again, numbers 3, 5, 7, 8, 3 and 4. Sounds like I'm reading out the lottery. <laughs> uh, it's going to be very repetitive, but it should help you out and get you better times. So let me know if it improves you. And 100% and 50%, just move it all the way to the right, the arrow, and move it for the tyres all the way to the left on each one. And that is 21, 19.5 on the bottom two and 21.0 on the top. And that is just saved for Monaco. I don't know if the setup will help you loads with that because it's got a lot of turns and stuff and you need a lot of luck. And we just, again, press triangle or Y or I don't know if you've got it on PC, what you would press for that. And next, we move over to Azerbaijan time trial. And this one is two and five for the front wing and the rear wing. Transmission is 50 and 50. So, again, move it all the way over to the left. Suspension geometry, this one's a bit different. 2.60, 1, 0.08 and 0.20. And this is on Azerbaijan. Suspension is 2, 6, 9, 10, three and four and don't forget to pause it at any point i'm sure you've paused it loads by now it's once you've done it it's done and dusted it took me a while but it's done now brakes is 100 percent and 50 so move it all the way over to the right on both of them and that'll be that done and tires move this one all the way over to the left for 21 21 19.5 and 19.5 
We will save it as Azerbaijan. You can see all the ones I've done there. The reason they're showing up like that is when I done these, it weren't in the order that I've seen them. So I've made the video in the correct order. So you can just go from left to right and not have to go what I had to do and go to look for Britain and then go and look for Spain. And Now we're on Canada. Front wing, four. Rear wing, seven. And then we'll go to transmission. Is 50% all the way to the left. And then 60% differential adjustments is off throttle. Is That's at like 60 the geometry on this is pretty similar to those 2.50, 1.0, 0.05, and 0.32. So that's a, for the rear tow a little bit different than some. And the suspension on this is 4, 5, 7, 7, 4, and 5. It's like bingo. <laughs> it's certainly like bingo. Again, move this one for the brakes all the way to the right. 100% and 50. And the tyres on this is 22.6. 21.8 20.3 and 20.3 and that is canada and we will save it as canada i'm looking forward to trying more races on stream now that i've done this to see if i can get actual better times the best i've got is i choked a third by going into the pit lane and end up crashing <laughs> but on france aerodynamics is three and rear wing uh, aero is four the transmission is all the way to the left 50% and 50%. You'll see what I mean when I say all the way to the left when you do it. Suspension geometry is 2.50, 1, 0.05 and 0.20. So that's going back to the common. Suspension is 2, 2, 5, 9, 3 and 5. And that is suspension for France. The brakes all the way to the right. 100% and 50%. Uh, yeah, that's for the pressure. And the tyres, 22.2, 22.2, 20.3, and 20.3. The reason I didn't show any highlights of these working is I wouldn't do it justice. You can go on the time trials and check them for yourself, the custom setup, to show that the leaders do actually use these. I'm just not good at it, so I wouldn't waste your time watching me crash into walls or spinning out, even though it'd be funny. Aerodynamics on this is 3 and 5, and we're on Austria. Transmission is 50% all the way to the left, and 65% for the uh, off the throttle for transmission. The suspension geometry is the same as most of them, 2.50, 0, 1.0, 0, 0. 0. 0.05, and 0. 0.20. Suspension is two, six, four, 11, three, and four. So quite varied on this one for Austria. And the brakes is all the way to the right, 100% and 50%. Tyres was 22.6, 22.6, and the bottom two, the rear ones are 20.7 and 20.7. And that is Austria, and we will save it as such. And we will move on to the next one. If this does help you out, I'm sorry if it's boring and repetitive, but it, it should it should adjust your style and make you better. If it does, make sure you subscribe and drop a like on the video. It goes a long way. On Britain, we've got three and four for aerodynamics. Transmission is 50% and 60%. I was going to do it in separate videos, but I, I thought, why not throw it all into one? Uh, suspension geometry, 2.50, 1.0, 0.05, and 0.20. And suspension is 2, 9, 1, 11, 11, 2, and 4. Just when I watched, I had to go into each individual video, whereas I would have preferred the full video compiled together like this. So some people will prefer it, some people won't. And the brake pressure is all the way to the right on each, 100% and 50. And this is 21, 21, 19.5 and 19.5. And that is for the tyres on Britain. And we will save it there. You'll see some of the, when I'm saving it, some of the names will disappear off and go shorter. Because like I said, I've had to go up, down, left, right to find the track and find the um, time trial. Custom setup. On Hungary, it is Aerodynamic 7 and 9. We will go over to Transmission. And it's 50% and 50%. And I don't need to say it now. You know what I would already say. Suspension geometry, quite different. 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.29. And this is Hungary time trial. The suspension is 4, 6, 9, 10, 3 and 5. So that is the setup for that. And again just pause it if you need to which you will definitely have to uh brakes is 100 percent and front brakes uh bias is 52 percent and the tires are all the way that way to the left uh 21.0 21.0 19.5 and 19.5 and that is hungary done and now we are on belgium 
Belgium's aerodynamics are three and five. This is a fun track. I do like this. Got a few uh, fast turns. Transmission is 50% and 50%. Then suspension geometry is 2.60, 1.0, 0.07 and 0.20. And if you're wondering, we're over halfway. So we can get in there. We're getting there. But it will help you out. I can see why not many people have done this. <laughs> Suspension is 1, 4, 1, 11, 2, and 4. Yeah, it's so repetitive. I should be a bingo caller after this. Do bingo on my streams. 100% um, on brakes and 54% on the bottom. Tires are 23.4, 23.4, 21.1, and 21.1. And that is Belgium all done. And we will save it there. So we can always go to our custom setup when we are in that specific race. And you will see it here. It will load up Belgium and there they are. Next we are on Italy. And Italy is Aerodynamics 3 and Rear Wing Aero 3 as well. So that's quite rare. Transmission on this one is 50%. And differential adjustment of throttle is 55. The suspension geometry is 2.80, 1.20. 0.08, 0.23, and that's suspension geometry. The suspension is 1, 1, 4, 7, 3, and 4. That is quite like it's different to a lot of the other ones we've gone through. So it must be a tough track or a lot of different to other tracks. The brakes is 100% and 50. And then tyres, we will move over to tyres, it's 21.8. 21.8 20.3 and 20.3 and that is italy done that is italy done right the next one we will go to is we will save it once it's gone through italy and we are on singapore now we are on singapore and it's 9 and 11 for aerodynamics which is a lot different to the others the transmission is 50 percent and 50 percent the suspension and geometry is 2.50, 1.0, 0.05, and 0.23. Singapore time trial. And this is the night race, isn't it? Suspension is 1, 8, 9, 9, 1, and 3. Moving over to the brakes. And the brake percentage for this one is going to be, if it ever does load and move over, 100% and 52%. That's for the brake pressure and front brake bias. And the tyres is all the way to the left with that directional button. 21.0, 21.0, 9.5, and 19.5, sorry, and 19.5. And we will save that as Singapore. Very, very entertaining race to watch in real life and good to play on the game too. I do really enjoy that one. It's through the streets. Now we're on Russia and the aerodynamics is 4 and 7. So that is those... Hopping over to the transmission. We're doing well. User doing well. 50% and 62%. We haven't got long left. I'll give you exactly how long. We've got about six minutes. 2.50, 1.3, 0.07, and 0.26 is suspension geometry for Russia. And looking at the suspension here, we've got a 1, a 4, a 3, 9, 3, and 4. And they are all in order. There's no point in me reading out front suspension, rear suspension on each one and brake pressure and front brake bias 100% and 50%. The tyres are 22.6, 23.4, which is a bit weird, 20.7 and 21.1. You would normally think the front tyres would be on the same PSI, but that's what the fastest lap's got. So that's why we will replicate it and hopefully it does us justice and we can get up there in the leaderboards and improve our game. I do enjoy this so much. When I play FIFA, if a lot of you don't play FIFA who are watching this, if you just play F1, it's so toxic FIFA. This is a nice break. Aerodynamics on Japan is 3 and 7. The transmission is 50% and 65%. The suspension geometry for this map or track is 2.50, back to the old faithful, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. Yeah, FIFA's toxic. It's 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 boring. You don't get enjoyment out of it. This game I actually enjoy even though I'm rubbish. And the suspensions one, seven, four, ten, three, and four. And pause it at any time. Every now and then I will remind you so you can do it even though you've done it anyway. The 92% brake pressure and 50% on front brake bias. 
and the tyres is all the way. Move the directional button to the left. 21.0, 21.0, 19.5 and 19.5. And that is the setup for Japan. Again, another good race. We do enjoy that one. Next, we will move on to USA. And the aerodynamics is 4 and 7. The transmission on this one is 50% and 60%. I hope when I cut it into sections and timestamp it, it'll be easy for you to go to the specific track you're looking for. Hopefully it does work. It's 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. Again, a very the, the most common one we've seen on that. The suspension's always different though. And it's 2, 5, 4, 11, 3 and 5. And the brakes, moving over to the brakes on this, is it going to be 100% and 50? Yep. So 100% and 50 is the brakes. And the tyres to finish off USA time trial is 21 PSI, 21 PSI, 19.5 and 19.5. And that is that setup done. Jeez, I need a drink and I don't have one available. <laughs> I don't have to make your mouth dry going through all of these. And we'll correct the USA spelling because it's done on lowercase a. But we are getting towards the end. Thank you for staying with us, the real ones who are still here. The aerodynamics for Mexico is 3 and 7. The transmission's 50% and 65%. The suspension geometry is 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.2. And the suspension is 1, 7, 4, 10, 3 and 4. And on Baton's stream, we play Mexico a lot and I do enjoy it. The brakes are all the way to the right, 100% and 50%. And the tyres to finish off Mexico is 21 PSI, 21 PSI, 19.5 and 19.5. We can see the end. The end is in sight. It is in sight. Save it up as Mexico, Castro's home nation. We move, we move and we'll save it. Now we're on to Brazil. Aerodynamics for Brazil is 2 and 6. The transmission for Brazil is going to be 50% and 50%. The suspension geometry, will it be the same as usual? No, it's 2.60, 1.0, 0.08 and 0.20. So that's slightly different to most of the others. This has been a reoccurring common theme. The suspension is 2, 6, 9, 10, 3 and 4. The brakes... So the brakes on this one for Brazil is going to show as, it's taken a while, that was always going to happen. Is it going to be 150? Yep, 100% and 50%. Left that one on a bit too long while editing, uh, and that'll be helpful for people who are trying to copy it. And tyres are all the way down to the left with the arrow, move it back to 21, 21, 19.5 and 19.5. Can't help saying move it all the way back because when you're doing it, doing the setup, you'll know what I mean. It'll just whiz back when you hold the directional button. Rather than you having to say how, how many is it and counting it, you can just go all the way back and you know as far as you've gone that that is that bit done. And you can move down to the next one. Aerodynamics for Abu Dhabi. This is the last one, is it? Yeah, so we get into the last one. It's three and eight for aerodynamics. The transmission is going to show as 50% and 50%. The suspension geometry is going to show us 2.50, 1.0, 0.05 and 0.20. Again, if you skip to the end, this try five laps on your normal setup and then do this custom setup and check your differences in your fastest lap and see how you get on and let me know. Suspension is going to be 1, 7, 4, 6, 2 and 4. And the brakes coming up for Abu Dhabi is 100% and 50% brake pressure and front brake bias. And finally, the tyres is 22.2, 22.2, 19.9 and 19.9. And this is going to signal the end of the video. We got there. Thank you for staying with us. I really do hope it has helped you out. If you haven't already, check your subscribes. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. 
keep bringing the hype keep smashing the like i really appreciate you being here choosing to click on the video and doing it and like i've said let me know in the comment section if this indeed has helped you out and i will see you again soon for some more fifa 20 warzone fifa 21 or f1 content this will be the channel for you i love all of you have a nice evening take care peace